Man who spent 32 years behind bars for a crime he didn't commit is expected to walk out of jail today a free man. KKL 9's Dave Lopez is live in downtown Los Angeles waiting for that release. Dave? Well, the man is Andrew Wilson. He is 62 years of age. He's been behind bars for just about 33 years. He was first arrested for, as you mentioned, a crime he did not commit. Behind me is the uh, intake inmate release center here at the uh, Men's Central Jail. And we are told that that's where he will be walking out, a free man. We are told it'll happen sometime before 3 o'clock. His uh, daughter, his only daughter, and one of his five grandchildren flew in from Michigan. This is what his daughter had to say a little while ago. He's coming home. He's coming home. So I just, oh my God. You and it's okay? just, it's really, it's, it's so surreal. I just, I'm just, I'm ready for him to come out of those doors and just, this be all over with. He did not do it. And I know he didn't do it. And he's missed out on a lot because of this whole thing. He's missed out on a lot. I was 10 years old. I'm 43. You were 10 when this happened? Yes. Thank you. This is Wilson in court yesterday where he simply told the judge thank you after it was announced that he will be free to go and now it's just a matter of paperwork from Sacramento. He was arrested for a murder in 1984, convicted in 1986, given life without the possibility of parole, but the evidence was always there, he said, that he was clear. And uh, people listened to him. He was he was uh, let go. Now the judge did not did not say that he is innocent, but merely that he is free to go based on the evidence that she has received. The district attorney's office said clearly that he did not get a fair trial and that they have no intention of uh, trying him again. Now once he is released, he says the first thing he wants to do is go to St. Louis, where he can see his 96-year-old mother, who always said, "I believed in you." One other thing. He must be cleared. He, a, a court must rule him to be innocent of these charges in order for him to be eligible for back money. Under California law, he's entitled to $140 a day for every day he was wrongly imprisoned. Some quick math, that's $1.6 million. But first, a court has to say he is completely innocent of those charges. But first things first, sign the paperwork in Sacramento, and he'll walk out of those doors after 32 years behind bars for something that the courts say he didn't do.